You're listening to Create Wealth Through Franchising, and I'm your host, Kim Daly. In my 20 years as a franchise consultant, I've helped hundreds of people achieve their dreams of building and scaling franchise businesses to create wealth. The interview you're about to hear can also be found on my YouTube channel, where I post new franchising content multiple times per week. Please take a moment to subscribe to the podcast and to my YouTube channel at kimdaily.tv. Now, enjoy the show. Alex Choquette, it's great to welcome you to the Daily Coach YouTube channel. Thanks for being my guest today. Hey, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for inviting me. I've invited you, Mr. Planet Fitness, <laughs> to come and share a little bit about your story of getting involved in a very pioneering brand back in the day, back in the day when we were both doing martial arts and we knew each other way back then, <laughs> and, um, and riding the wave up with that brand and how that worked out for you. So with that, Alex, tell us a little bit about your story, how and why you got involved in franchising and where that journey took you over the last 18, 20 years. Well, thank you so much for the opportunity. I will say that I started with Planet Fitness in 2004. But prior to that, I had been working for myself, selling automotive service manuals in a little uh, area of New Hampshire, Maine and Vermont. And I kept looking for another opportunity. I got tired of what I was doing. Planet Fitness was advertising franchises available. I decided, okay, when we look into it, at that time, they were very uh, primitive compared to what they are today. It was a different model back then. It was basically, uh, you join a franchise, we help you get started, we help you develop the, the process, and we kind of guide you along the way, but there wasn't a lot of infrastructure behind it. So in 2004, I signed a, an agreement with Planet Fitness to open up the first franchise, and it opened up in 2006, January 6th of 2006, and that was the first one in Wilmington, North Carolina. At that time, it was 14,000 square feet was the model. We didn't really know what we were doing, but we had a lot of business sense. Planet Fitness guided us along the way. So for those listening today that are into checking out franchises, it's been a mutual agreement on both ends that we both would help each other out. And over the years, it's been that. There's been some up and downs, which I'll get into in a minute, but it's been a really good franchise. And I can't, uh, you know, I guess thank the lucky stars that uh, I jumped into it when I did. So it's a big risk. It's a big uh, chance to put everything on the line, which I did. At one point, I had $181,000 worth of credit card debt. I was hawked up to my eyeballs, then some. I'd signed all kinds of agreements. If I didn't have any money and couldn't make uh, make my payments, I'd be working at a local uh, big box store. So I'm greeting you when you walked in the door. So I put a lot of uh, effort into just working around the clock at the time, really putting the effort in. We develop our systems over the years. So it wasn't always just like Planet Fitness gave us everything. We had to learn a lot on our own with legal, counting, things that you wouldn't normally think about. But read a bunch of books and developed with one club. Then in 2007, we opened another club. Then we heard about this thing called an ADA. For those who don't know, it's an area development agreement. We signed an agreement in March of 2008. Well, the market crashed in 2008 in September. So it was very difficult back then to get any money, to get finance. And we had a territory that we committed to. There was 10 uh, stores that we had to open up over 10 years. They were nice enough to give me credit for the first store. But after that, I had nine more stores. The average uh, opening price at that time was about three, three and a half million. So it was very difficult to get funding. So we had to go through partnerships. We had to go through banks, uh, leasing companies. It was very hard to, to uh, get leases, trying to find locations. It got to a point where we just really, really like every day had a new challenge. And so it was really good to push ourselves beyond uh, what we thought we were, uh, had as a comfort zone. At the same time, uh, we learned a lot. We brought in new people. So as you build up your business and you start getting some cash, then you have to increase the amount of people that work for you. So we started out with three of us, my sister, Shelly, myself, and it was one guy named Joe. And we built it over 310 people. When, uh, we sold in 2019. So we built it up. Private equity was kicking kicking uh, tires. They were uh, knocking on our door. We had an opportunity to sell 13 of the 15 clubs. The process of selling was also a very uh, arduous, uh, very difficult time, but we were able to pull it off and get it done. So at the end of the day, to your question, Kim, the franchise and the franchise E, franchise or franchisee, have to have a mutual uh, agreement. Things are going to change over time. So there's going to be some new policy procedures. 
long as you're a nice person, you understand that everyone has to win. Everybody does win. Yeah, that's awesome. So much gold and everything you just said there. The first thing I want to say is no guts, no glory. I love how you don't sugarcoat it, right? Like all you had massive success upon exit, but it didn't come at a cost, right? There's always, there was challenges, but I love how you sort of spun it positively that you were taking ownership of it and you grew to read books. There wasn't, it wasn't all handed to you. Now, would you say that when you started back in 2004 with the resources you had compared to somebody that might be a new planet fitness owner today in 2021, there's probably a lot more systems and guidance today, right? Because in franchising in general has greatly changed um, as an industry in that 20 year period. Yeah. There's actually a, a, a lot of uh, different systems out there that we didn't have 15 years ago that we have today. You know, everything from like, you know, have employees read the same books, have everybody have the same goals, you know, do some more uh, check to checklist type things, uh, put ourselves in a situation where we have more fun. So we bring our team out on a monthly or if not quarterly basis. You know, COVID kind of put a, a halt to that a little bit, but now we're getting back to it. So you have to have fun with your team. You're going to build a team. They have to have trust with you. They have to know there's some upward movement. We did three year employment contracts. So they, we just weren't hiring people by the week or month. We really thought it through. So there's a lot of thought processes as you build a business and start owning, opening new uh, new locations. You have to, as an owner and CEO, you have to remove yourself at some point so you can see things objectively and from a different level. So I was able to do that. The stores we had were in the Carolinas. I live in New Hampshire. So it allowed me to have that space. It wasn't in my stores all that often, but had some great people I trusted, had great systems. So we really... We really ran the business by systems and check the checklist, and that's how we did it. And Franchisor has developed numerous teams since they began. They, you know, started with a real estate team and an operational team, and now they have literally like 20 different teams that they work with. It depends on what situation you have, but they have definitely grown. Planet Fitness has been a great franchise. It's been an amazing journey for all of us, and that's why we're here today. Would you say that the experience with this franchise not only changed your life professionally and maybe even personally, but financially? Yes, financially. Planet Fitness has a strategy as a franchise or that a franchisee needs to make money along the way. So if you're out there listening today, you want to make sure you pick the right franchise. You want to pick the right opportunity. You want to know that you can talk to some other franchisees in the business. People already kind of jumped in before you do. You got Kim Daly, who's an expert at what she does. She's going to guide you. She's going to help you along the way. So you're good there. And she's going to be your coach. So if you're interested in franchise, it's a good opportunity to make a ton of money. You can also learn a lot. You can develop some new friendships, and really renew your, your um, desire to you know, keep wanting to work because after a while, it becomes fun. It no longer becomes a job. It's actually fun to wake up every day and have a new challenge. Hey, Daily Coach fans, if this franchise sounds like a fit for you, I would love to be your Daily Coach. Email me right now for a totally free consultation at inquire at kimdaily.tv. Now that you've exited from 13 of your 15 clubs, uh, what are you looking forward to? Will you, will you continue to be involved at a small level with Planet or are you building up another book of clubs, if you will? Well, uh, we have to sign non, uh, non-compete type agreements in the area that we sold. So we kept a small area out of Wilmington, North Carolina. We kept two. I brought uh, three people that worked for me into the mix. We bonused out quite a bit at the uh, exit strategy. So they all have the ability to have some extra money. They all like the business. We had some other territory. So we I developed a partnership. So at my age, these people are much younger than me. So I get to a point where I can actually help them. Um, you know, get to where they need to be since they helped me get to where I need to be financially and where I am today in my life. So my goal now is to mentor them, help them get to a point where they can live a better life than they currently have. And so we have one partnership with them already. We're opening another store uh, sometime this year. So they'll have uh, uh, opportunity to have ownership in two clubs and eventually maybe give them an opportunity to buy uh, myself and my sister out and then they can run it down the road. The goal there is if we do a good job with them, and my son, who's now 20, will have an opportunity to work with them. And it's a great friendship. It's a great uh, level of respect for each other. And my son will have an opportunity to work with them. And maybe someday you'll have a chance to work with their kids. So I have, being a dad with a single single um, child, 
I don't have multiple kids to, to spread the uh, responsibility around. So I'll have the opportunity if he chooses to be a point of fitness owner and other businesses that we may choose to get into as a group. It's like so amazing. Like you, you know, my Daily Coach YouTube channel is really all about sharing the good news in franchising. I mean, there's enough noise out there. People can find that on their own. But here at the Daily Coach, we are all about the good news in franchising. And, you know, um, you you said so many things about, you know, living in New Hampshire, working your business as a semi-absentee owner. That's major for a lot of people who will listen to this recording. Um, this idea of building a legacy, building up the people that helped you get to where you are and giving them an opportunity. So just that feeling of giving back, you know, like, again, this franchise changes so many lives, not just yours, but your employees. And, and then the legacy piece that you leave behind to your son. And I'm the biggest advocate of building a business to sell it. I always coach my candidates to think about an exit strategy. But the ROI of building a legacy for your son, that's not necessarily um, a Planet Fitness Club. It, It could be that, but it's the legacy of a business owner and what you've shown him, role model to him, taught him, you know, not just the good times, but the struggles, right? That how hard you had to work to get where you've achieved today. But that's really the legacy that leaves a lasting imprint in your son's lives. Do you agree? Absolutely. I mean, it's it's a uh, it's a parent's uh, desire to have your children you know, have a better life than what you had. And I've had a great life. I have no uh, no qualms. It's been a really good run. It's been a lot of hard work, a lot of stress at times, but there's been a lot of fun along the way. So when you start giving back to others, and we do a lot of nonprofit type work, it allows you to do things for yourself because it, it gives you a somewhat of an internal balance. And so the bottom line is. My son, who you know, will be successful in his own right someday, just because I give him a good foundation. There's others along the way with my coworkers, partners, you know, former employees that I'm helping them and help their children. So you kind of can spread this whole network of helping people. And the more you help people, the better they they do, the better understanding you have. So there's two ways to to uh, run a company: is one out of fear, and is one out of love. And so we chose love, and so we do a lot of nice things for people. And we put ourselves in a position, if you ever, right from the, the, the smallest um, position in the company all the way up to the, the biggest one. If you have an issue, you have a problem, you can come to us, all of us, and we'll help you. One way or the other, we'll, we'll solve your problem for you. So we're not just employees. We're people that really care about the people that work for us. That's probably why you've been so sex, uh, so successful. It's so great. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you sharing your story. I know people will be inspired. There's so much gold in everything that you just said. So um, I appreciate your time so much, Alex. Is there anything else you'd like to say to anybody who may be thinking about um, taking a plunge and diving into business ownership through franchising? Well, I would say that that's a great question. And I would say, do your research. Choose three or four things that you really have a passion for because it's not always about making money. It's about something you like to do. In my case, I, I enjoy fitness. Kim mentioned earlier we did karate together, martial arts. So, you know, fitness was a, a kind of a, a forefront for me. So that was something I loved to get involved in. I didn't really know much about the business at the time. So find something you're passionate about, something that is has a growth uh, pattern, something that you feel like down the road that you could, you could do uh, with ease versus having typical job. And then, you know, look around and see what the opportunities, there's plenty of opportunities out there. All franchisors are not the same, but most of them uh, are good. And you got to find something that is different than the rest. And when you find something that's different, in this case, Planet Fitness was a $10 price point membership, plus a uh, judgment free zone. It was different. What everyone else was at the time is the great opportunities for people. Just keep looking and uh, put yourself out there. And, you know, if you don't venture, you're never going to gain. And you don't want to be one of those folks to say, you know, I, I wish I did. I could have, could have did that. I, I couldn't look back in my life. I've had plenty of people come to me and say, boy, I should have gotten involved in Planet Fitness, but they didn't. So it's hard sometimes to give it all up, willing to risk it all, so to speak, to get into a franchise. But when you do and you pick the right one and you're willing to learn and you're willing to listen, you'll, you'll benefit from it. Amazing advice from a massively successful franchise owner. So that question, let's answer it one more time, Alex. Is buying a franchise just making someone else rich? Absolutely no. 
<laughs> Love it. Thank you so much. God bless you. I appreciate you joining the Daily Coach YouTube channel. If you found this inspiring, please contact me at inquire at kimdaily.tv. My consulting services are totally free to you. Again, that email is inquire at kimdaily.tv. I can't wait to hear from you.